HyperSim is an application that consists of several simulators. Today, I'll be running a demonstration on one of these simulators, HyperSizer. HyperSizer uses several methods to estimate the appropriate products for bridging and wellbore strengthening. The goal is to closely match the particle size distribution, PSD, of the added bridging materials to the pore throat size of the reservoir formation. Various data are used to determine the reservoir's pore throat size distribution, such as permeability measurements, combined permeability and porosity, pore size or fracture width, known D10, D50, and D90 of the reservoir. If a real core plug from the reservoir is available, the permeability can be measured directly. Additionally, porosity can be determined through imbibition using the vacuum method. With this data, HyperSizer calculates the pore throat size distribution. HyperSizer applies several methods to determine the optimal PSD for bridging and strengthening, including Abram's rule, one third of the pore mean size, the coeffer rule, fracture rule, D90. In this example, let's assume permeability at 1000 millidarcies and select the bridging method using one third Abram's rule. According to this rule, the D50 median of the pore throat size can be estimated as the square root of permeability. For 1000 millidarcies, the square root is approximately 31.62 microns. One third of this is 10.54 microns, giving us the target D50 value based on Abram's rule. With the D50 established, we then calculate D10 and D90 of the pore throat size. These values form the target PSD values. The simulator will help determine the optimal concentration of two products added as bridging agents to minimize the variance between target values and simulation results. For bridging and strengthening agents, the recommended concentration is 3 to 5% by volume, with adjustments based on the drilling fluid density. Next, we'll select products from the database to evaluate the bridging mechanism. You can either choose all available options or select specific products via checkboxes. Each selected product is evaluated in different ratios to find the optimal blend that minimizes the variance between the target PSD and the simulation result. Once selected, the target representing the reservoir's pore throat size and the PSD of the chosen products are compared. For instance, if we select seven products, 21 unique product pairs are generated since each is tested against each other. Selecting seven products results in seven times six divided by two resulting in 21 simulations. In this example, let's add 40 pounds per barrel of bridging materials by selecting OptaCarb products with median sizes of 10, 100, 20, 25, 3, 5, and 50 microns. If all products are selected, the simulation takes longer due to the increased number of bridging cases. Let's run the simulation using these seven OptaCarb products and click the Run button to compute the bridging simulation. Once the simulation is complete, results are listed by variance, from lowest to highest. Here, the first simulation yields a 3.62 micron variance between the target and the result, achieved with OptaCarb 10 at 24 pounds per barrel and OptaCarb 5 at 16 pounds per barrel. On the graph, red bullet points represent the reservoir's target pore throat size for D10, D50, and D90, while the curved line shows the PSD of the added products. The hatched area indicates the added solids, 
while the border between clear and the hatched area shows solids in contact with the reservoir. The second simulation produces a 5.72 micron variance using OptaCarb 5 at 33.6 pounds per barrel and OptaCarb 50 at 6.4 pounds per barrel. The third stimulation results in a 6.21 micron variance with OptaCarb 10 at 24 pounds per barrel and OptaCarb 3 at 16 pounds per barrel. As explained, selecting 7 products generates 21 simulations. Let's review the last one by entering 21 in the numerator box. This case has a 219.49 micron variance. The optimal bridging and wellbore strengthening result is achieved using OptaCarb 10 and OptaCarb 5 at 24 and 16 pounds per barrel, respectively, as seen in simulation case number 1. Now, let's add a fine particle of graphite or resilient graphite at 2 pounds per barrel as a fixed component in the drill-in fluid system to enhance strengthening. Running the simulation with this addition yields a 4.17 micron variance, optimizing the bridging material with OptaCarb 10 at 12.8 pounds per barrel and OptaCarb 5 at 27.2 pounds per barrel. Please note, the objective isn't always to select the lowest variance option. Certain scenarios require either internal plugging or external bridging, depending on the reservoir's exposure to drilling fluids. Ideally, we aim for effective external bridging. Users can review each simulation and select a solution that provides particles as close as possible to the target PSD or slightly larger to avoid penetration into the pore throat. To print or export the desired simulation, activate the ideal simulation and click on the report viewer button. The bridging report can be exported in Word, PDF, and Excel formats. Let's choose PDF and export the report. I hope this demo has provided a comprehensive overview of Hypersizer.